Welcome to Production Expert, my name's Dan Cooper. In this free four-part series, I show you the basics of working in Waves CLA Mix Hub, which provides an in-the-box analog console workflow based on Crystal Lord Alge's own SSL board. In the previous episodes, I showed you around the plugin and how to get started with it, as well as Mix Hub's input and output stages and filters. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at the EQ section. We're looking at the drum bucket to start with here. And as I mentioned in the first episode, being able to globally view all of your EQ controls in one place for several tracks is very helpful. It can mean that you can work very quickly and effectively all within one UI. Let's see what we can do with these drums. She's got those soft feet. Let's start by adding some weight to that kick drum. The earth is just rolling between her toes. It's nice, bit of presence maybe in the top end. The smooth, the smooth ankles. Ah, a blessed bridge for one. It's nice, maybe on the overheads as well. Baby, let me pass through. I wanna come over. Hey. Yeah, on the snare drum as well. A little bit more weight. Back off those overheads a touch. It's a little bit too bright. A parallel picture I have to paint clearly. Very nice. Let's move over to some of these instruments. It doesn't matter. Bass guitar. The needs to be mad. Oh, she needs to be mad. So I said. It's nice. I think those guitars could be a bit brighter. This one, a bit too bright. Maybe a bit of air as well in that vocal. Hopefully you saw what I was doing there. I was focused on the top end on many tracks at once and I didn't have to jump out of this plugin and switch between different instances. To do that, I could just focus on the top end of this mix and make my adjustments. Anyway, in the next episode, we're going to be taking a look at the powerful dynamics in Waves CLA Mix Hub. Hope you guys got something from this episode. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.